But we don't know uh, that much about Marist, right. but obviously they won their league, so uh, they're coming off a championship just uh, as we do. But uh, this week is probably, uh, we're focusing more on, on the Gators and what right. we have to do. We uh, put a lot of time and energy into our doubles play, and I think uh, we'll see a little bit better performance on doubles play now with the break we've had since last time out uh, with some of the work we've done. But we've run, we've lifted, and we're getting ready to start tapering down now so that by the time we start playing this weekend, we have our legs under us, and, uh, and hopefully we can, we can uh, show some good play. Any shake-ups in the doubles? Or? No, we're going to play the same lineup that we uh, submitted for the ACC, or SEC championship, excuse me. And, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, we, I, th I thought we played, all three teams showed some improvement at that time. Obviously, winning the doubles point on Georgia was key. Mm. Uh, if we can play like that, then we'll have a chance every time out, I think. And uh, how much confidence do you have when you have, you know, basically the, like you said, maybe perhaps the best college tennis player ever leading your well, team? Well, that certainly just... helps, right? <laughs> yeah, and uh, I think she's feeling good. She's moving really well. She's about as fit as she's ever been. So. Uh, it, Anytime you have a player at one that could be the best player every single time, then you always are going to have a chance. Mm -hmm. It's been a couple of years since you've had freshmen play their first NCAA matches. What, what have you seen from uh, Brianna and Danielle? They've shown remarkable calm, really. And I thought they were great at the SEC championship. Uh, sometimes the first years, you know, get a little big eyed, but uh, I thought both Bree and the uh, were remarkably calm and focused and the uh, uh, the drama against Georgia there with the doubles point didn't seem to affect them at all in their play in singles after and so if they can play and handle pressure like that in the NCAs then uh, you know we can't really consider them as freshmen and they, they they feel more like scarred veterans. Can you talk a little bit about Alex and how she she's always seems to turn it on this time of year and yeah, and you know what? This year she's been really on the entire spring, really. And so uh, freshman year and sophomore year, she was a little bit more up and down during the season. This year she has been just rock solid. I mean, she's had some monster wins for us. and uh, Maybe, you know, we're taking it for granted a little bit, but we we got to remember that the quality of competition is going to go up here. But mm -hmm. she's uh, steady. She works hard. She's got a great attitude and an incredible fighter, and we're going to need all of that uh, in the upcoming weeks. How nice is it that after the break you guys have had to be able to start back up, but start here at home with the crowd behind you and everything? Yeah, we love playing at home. I mean, obviously our record shows that, <laughs> but uh, it looks like it's going to be 85, 90 degrees this weekend too, and so that, that helps us as well. We like it when uh, you have to work the point, your long points, when it get hot and sweaty and sticky and all those things, is, that, that's usually good for the Gators. We generally have a really good crowd too for NCAs, and so uh, I'm hoping that we can pack the stands here Saturday and Sunday. And with the men hosting as well, uh, does that even add any more incentive to kind of just the whole Gator spirit out here? Yeah, it does. And we have a great relationship with the men's staff, and obviously the, the two teams get along really well, and so I know our players will be out there in the stands supporting the guys when they play, and then hopefully if we play on Sunday, I know the boys will be out to support us. So that obviously increases the whole uh, level of excitement this weekend. Coach, all everybody really wants to ask the players is, what would it be like to three-peat? How do you <laughs> keep them focused on you know one match at a time and not looking too far ahead? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, you know what? We had to answer that same question about you know repeating last year, <laughs> and we handled that pretty well. So uh, I think most of them, they're used to to fighting for and and trying to achieve greatness and 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 go for championships. And so I think they know what they have to do. You know, the old cliche: take one at a time. But uh, there's no question that they've looked ahead in the draw and see who is where. I mean, that's just human nature. But by the time we roll out the balls on Saturday, we're going to have Saturday's match uh, on our minds only, clearly. And that's how it is a practice now. We want to make sure that we improve our doubles play. We want to make sure that we are fast and, and, and strong so we can move and defend well if we have to. And so the things that we can control is what we're going to focus on now. How do you keep the girls from worrying maybe too much about the pressure that might be on them with everyone wanting to come 
here into their home court and, and knock them off and, and not let them win that uh, at their championship? I think our players are used to playing with the bullseye on their back. And uh, I think in general, the players who come here are used to it from the juniors and they kind of like it. It's like a badge of honor. I think this team is definitely like that. You know, we, uh, I think our players tend to like uh, being the favorite. And so that's nothing new to us really. I like to think that we can use playing at home as an advantage rather than uh, a negative. Uh, traditionally that we've been uh, able to do a good job of that. Being the number one seed now, do you feel like you guys have kind of and are starting to peak at the right time? Yeah, the seeding is sort of, uh, it, it was nice. Obviously, we beat number three and number four in back-to-back -back matches, so we sort of knew if we did that, uh, the committee probably would look very favorably uh, upon that. But uh, I think we've been playing really well. I mean, our singles play has been phenomenal all year long. And uh, Tyler Stewart, our strength coach, has done a really good job of getting our players fit and strong. Uh, we look better in the corners this year than any other year, I think. And so uh, I'm hoping if we get to play uh, outside here for the remainder of the tournament and the temperature goes up, then there's, there's going to be a premium to, to uh, being fit and strong. Any thoughts that, like you just mentioned, playing the number four and number three team, that you guys might have faced the toughest competition in the SEC tournament um, that you will at all here in the NCAA? Well, I do think... Uh, that the SEC is probably the strongest conference, you know, uh, if you look at the, the number of top 10 teams that we have in the league. But uh, if you start playing games like that, I think it's really important for us to, to realize what we have in front of us this weekend. And if we get through this weekend, then we'll worry about what's next if we make it up to, to Champaign.